Hello friends, welcome to Vidya Langa. Myself, Professor Amit Nerurkar, and we are here to learn small topic for TYBSAIT subject known as Internet Technologies. Right now, we would be looking on a particular topic known as Mobile IP. Now, as you see over the diagram, uh, what we are exactly going to do is, in your lower semesters, you have studied IP addressing, IPv4, maybe in your communication network or in Linux administration. But that particular IP, the problem was, it is for static machines. Today, we are dealing with mobility, mobile devices, like mobile phones, like laptops, like tablets, etc, etc, etc. So, there is a need to change the IP when my device changes its location from one to another point. Now, what exactly you can see is, this is machine A, which is actually a mobile device. Now, why exactly it is known as a mobile device? Because it can change its location from one part to another part. <coughs> now, the machine A is right now in a network which is known as its home network managed by home agent. A router which manages the home network is known as the home agent. Now, Initially, when I start my mobile device into its home network, machine A will actually go under this three phases of mobile IP. The first phase is agent discovery. In case of agent discovery, this particular mobile device will request to its home agent. Initially, we will try to identify which agent is its home agent and will request this home agent to assign a permanent IP known as home IP address to this particular device. Now, in future, it may happen that this particular node is right now shifting from its home network to some other network and the other network is actually known as a foreign network is actually known as a foreign network and this particular device A is now shifted from its home network to a foreign network for example from Mumbai to Delhi now the IP which was assigned to machine A was for its home network known as a permanent home IP address but right now when my device is shifting from its home network to a foreign network now what that particular machine should be assigned with a new IP but remember one thing the permanent IP would always remain same but with that IP machine cannot work because that IP is valid only when that particular device is in its home network. Now the second phase known as registration. What exactly will happen is this particular mobile device will request to its foreign agent to assign something known as care of IP address. This care of IP address is actually a temporary IP address which is valid only when that device is in the foreign network. Now, in case, during the registration, your mobile device will request to foreign agent. <coughs> but foreign agent is not aware whether this mobile device is a valid device or an invalid device. So this foreign agent will ask, will send a request to its home agent to verify whether machine A, is it a valid mobile device? If yes, then home agent will send a positive acknowledgement to foreign agent and foreign agent will assign a temporary IP address to device A known as care of IP address. Now, your mobile device can communicate with any device in the network. <coughs> Assume the last phase, data transfer. Assume machine B, <coughs> which is a remote host, was communicating with the machine A in its home network. But right now machine B is not aware of the fact that machine A has moved from its home network to a foreign network. So now what exactly will happen is machine B 
wants to send a data to machine A will send a packet <coughs> to machine A with its IP address which is home IP address now when the packet reaches to home agent home agent will understand the machine A is not in the home network so home agent will simply forward this packet to a foreign agent where a machine A is right now residing so the packet which is received one more packet is created in which the original packet is simply encapsulated this process is known as tunneling now the packet will go from home agent to a foreign agent this actually is also known as encapsulation process now this foreign agent will decapsulate will remove the packet and will understand that the packet is meant for machine a so this is how a data transfer takes place so friends this entirely is a concept of mobile IP exactly how a mobile device works in a network but obviously there are many disadvantages of this particular topic so friends join Vidyalangar classes we have different centers and we not only give you only a theory presentation theory subject orientation but also we focus on practical part of the subject and we at Vidyalanka we have a good desire of teaching and with this good desire we achieve and what we achieve is your success so I hope you all will be joining classes to succeed in your life thank you signing off bye bye